You may recognise the bike, it's probably one of the most famous, it's Bradley Wiggins one, the Pinarello, that he won all those medals at London 2012. The cycles have changed over the last 25 years, Bradley's one is made of carbon fibre and that's been the big revolution, but now one thing that hasn't changed over these years is about to change, tyres. Bicycle tyres are about to get a massive makeover because they're going to be made for a special new compound called graphene, which isn't just going in tyres, it'll soon be in the energy sector. Graphene is a type of carbon. In fact, it was discovered in the lead in pencil. But it is only one atom thick, which means it has some amazing properties. It's the strongest material that we have. Okay, a hundred times stronger than steel. It's the stiffest material that we have, and it's the hardest. It's harder than diamond. It can withstand strain, and it's also the most electrically conductive uh, material, a million times more conductive than copper. And you say, wow, and then your brain starts racing, what are we going to do next with that? It's uh, a huge force of excitement in technical communities around the world. Cycling is certainly exciting at the professional level, but even for humble amateurs like me, graphene could make a difference to the way my bike handles by improving both grip and speed. Vittoria is a major manufacturer of bike tyres and one of the first companies to see the potential of graphene. I live in Bergamo, where we have a lot of mountains around us, so a lot of steep curves and a lot of steep descents. And we gave to a few people who always go down these hills and they have to brake in the corners. They said, let's try without brakes. And they went down, I said, are you sure? Because we didn't want to have, of course, fatal accidents on our tires, obviously. And they went down, they didn't brake. They said, it's amazing, never seen this before, never seen before. So the grip was excellent. And we had a team in last year in the, in the Vuelta, the, the race in Spain. They sent us an email to thank us. They gave, we gave them a few samples of these graphene tires. They said, we won the race because we didn't have to brake on a soaked wet road because of the heavy rain. So it certainly makes a cyclist go faster and a little bit safer. But what could it do for us in general? Well, the man running one of the world's leading manufacturers of graphene says its potential is unlimited, even reaching the world of energy. In energy, I foresee a great uh, potential in lithium-ion batteries so, and supercapacitors. Uh, I think that this is where in a couple of years we will see a lot of emerging opportunities uh, with graphene utilized as an active material. What makes graphene so special? Give me three things about it that makes it so special. Uh, the three things are, the first one is uh, uh, we are going to use very small quantities. Uh, let me use the word uh, uh, homeopathic quantity. 0.5% can boost of 20% properties of, of another material. Uh, the second one is much more related to our product, to G Plus product, is a sustainable material. There are no chemical inside, so it's pure carbon. And the third one is that uh, is enabling, so it could be utilized everywhere. So from our laptops and our phones, to our transmission lines and of course tyres. The graphene revolution looks certainly to be underway. Sumit Bose, Energy Live News, Central London.